so oh, I know right. I, I know that with you living with this condition, we're not gonna take that away and say, if you didn't have it, we're gonna say with your condition in an ideal mm -hmm. world, how, how would it be? How would life be? Um, I would say that people just wouldn't judge, judge me. Cause like day to day, if I go outside, ooh, I literally just get weird faces and ooh, it would just be nice ooh, to feel normal, even though with this, I'm like, not anymore. In this interview, I am joined by Becca. She is a very talented 15 year old that suffers from ticks and Tourette's. She is one of the founders of a support group called the Uncontrollables. The Uncontrollables are a sensational group of teenagers that have come together to raise awareness of ticks and Tourette's. They have created a community of love and support for people suffering with these conditions. But that support does not just end there. It is extended to absolutely anyone who just wants to talk. Ticks and Tourette's can develop in children as young as two years old and all the way through to their teens, and in many cases, last through adulthood. Statistics have shown that there has been an unbelievably shocking rise in the amount of sufferers that have developed this condition since the beginning of the pandemic. There is very little known about these conditions and not much clinical support. Families are getting by through their own research and joining Facebook groups and following support groups like the uncontrollables just to try and gain an understanding. I was guilty of thinking that it was just a rare condition. To my surprise, there are thousands of people in the same in these groups going through the same thing. Even doctors and clinical practitioners do not have the answers about where ticks and Tourette's comes from, how they start, whether or not they are hereditary, and not enough research has been afforded for these conditions. The time is now, guys. We need the support. Please listen and share this episode with somebody. So, yeah, welcome to Emotional and Mental Justice. This is Yuna, and today I have a guest. Um, can you introduce yourself? Um, hi, I'm Becca. I've got ticks and I'm part of the Uncontrollables Instagram account. Okay, so this is Becca from the Uncontrollables. As she's mentioned, she's got ticks. So through it, you may hear Becca's ticks. Um, and we'll talk a bit more about that. So the Uncontrollables is a group of girls that came together to raise awareness um, of ticks and Tourette's. Um, I guess, yeah, can you tell us a bit more about the uncontrollables? I think, I mean, I, I found you on Instagram and I think you're amazing. I scroll through your pages yeah. and see your, your stories and there's so much awareness that you're raising and I think it's a beautiful thing and you, you deserve a, a commending and a round of applause for what you do. Thanks. Um, so woo, I think we, woo, we found each other on Facebook actually, because <laughs> you always woo, want to find people that are going through the same thing as you woo. so from facebook woo, we made a snapchat woo, a snapchat group chat woo. and then a couple of weeks i just went woo, do you want woo, do you want to make an instagram account or a tiktok account because <laughs> like woo, we're all going through it together woo, and not enough people know about it so then we all we just went go for it and the younger troubles came around and that's amazing so, so how many members lot. How many members are there in the Uncontrollables? I think there's 10 of us at the moment. Woo. That's, that's amazing. Yeah. That's, that's quite a lot of you to have just come together and created this thing. And um, what you said is that there's not, not many people know about ticks and Tourette's. And this is, this is very true. There's such little awareness out there from my research that I've done. Um, how, how have you found that? Do you, do you feel the same? I mean, I mean, definitely. I mean, I found more people people online than in person woo I don't think I've woo, ever met someone else with Tourette's woo that's mm -hmm. one of my friends but woo, not really anyone which is quite sad to be honest so yeah not many people have like, come into contact with it so woo, it's all different everywhere yeah so it's also people not really knowing what they're seeing when they come across it and not really understanding it um so can you tell me a little bit about your is it what, what is your condition are you diagnosed yeah. I'm whoops, still waiting for whoop, a diagnosis. It's a very, whoop, very long process. Mm. And I've been on the waiting list for God knows how long it's right. Um, but whoop, I get motor whoop, and phys whoop, physical tits, mm -hmm. which affect me a lot. And it's, it's a day-to-day -day thing. My yeah. whoop, 
pretty much never stop I do, unless I'm asleep okay. or doing woo, something that just lets go of everything. Okay, okay, so that's interesting when you're doing something that lets go of it. So what type of things would you be doing that, that helps you let go? Oh, God. Ooh, I really love um, singing, whoop, dancing and acting. Ooh, those okay. just take away because you're not being yourself. Whoop. Mm -hmm. And ooh, I don't know, it's just amazing because dance, whoop, it's just an escape, basically. Yeah, it yeah. It just gives you a break. Yeah. So how long have you been yeah. have you been singing and dancing as part of I don't know school because you're you're 15 years old aren't you? Are you 15? Yeah. Woo. Okay. So just I, I do. No, go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Go <laughs> I do dance and drama GCSEs and I'm also a part of a musical theatre group as well. Oh, amazing. So that's which your takes off a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah, oh, amazing. Um, so I was just going to say about your age, obviously, for the purpose of the camera, we have consent for, from, you know, your parents yeah. and caregivers <laughs> for you to do this. Can you yeah. confirm that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Definitely. Uh, um, okay, so can you tell me about your condition then? When did it first begin? And, you know, when did you first become aware of it? Oh, um, I think my whip started about August time last year and they were, were very small motor ones and so I managed to keep it hidden for about two months and then I finally told my parents and it was just like we need to have this sorted and it's just escalated rapidly from there. Okay so when you say there were small motor ones um, and you managed to control them that sounds as though you, you, you wanted to hide it. Yeah, because well, like secondary school, you want to fit in whoop, and yeah. having some sort of disability that's, that's not fitting in. And it's just, it's odd because you, you have to come to terms with it, whether or not you like it or not. <laughs> because it's, it's a part of you um, at the moment. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so with you wanting to hide it, was it wanting to hide it from your family as well? Because you mentioned one, <clears> just um, eventually telling your parents. <laughs> I don't really know. I just, I'm not one of those people who like to talk about things. And I just, I, don't, I thought I could fix it myself, I guess, mm -hmm. which clearly hasn't happened because what these may not go away ever. But I think we've bonded, like we've come closer as a, a family because of it, because we just laugh more, what? Okay, which is great. Oh, that's good. La laughter is medicine, isn't it, for a lot of things. Yeah. Yeah, and you, you say you're not someone who likes to talk um, about your feelings and things, but you're, you're here now, so this is obviously a, a, a ah. great step. You're a part of the Uncontrollables, which is an online platform. Um, so for somebody that doesn't like to talk about things, you're doing amazing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, um, so from the time, so it only started in August last year. Yeah. So that's that's fairly recently. Was there any indication <clears throat> before that, or is somebody in your family that has it? No one has it in my family. Whoop. We're not entirely sure whoop, how it's come along either, because whoo, there's whoo, this whole thing about the COVID whoo, COVID scare about people yeah. getting anxious. But I enjoyed it, so we're kind of just lost whoo, on what's the reason for my. Whoop, development Ooh. yeah yeah and I mean from from the research that I've done it's very much um there's a whole big thing about how many cases have been um established during the pandemic so from the beginning of 2020 essentially 2019 yeah. was, there's been so many referrals like for example um in, in the past there would be something like two, two main hospitals because there's Great Ormond Street and um the other thing yeah. that's in, in Thomas um there, there used to be like six referrals a year six, six to seven referrals a year for yeah. my Whatever. and now there's been up to 150 to 200 within the pandemic period for each year and that's yeah. that's a huge well, jump isn't it definitely yeah and i know from the research they say things like there's something about um anxiety and stress that links to it but like you say you were happy through it um yeah so you, you don't know what your triggers were no clue whatsoever yeah um so what about the girls in your group tell are you all girls yeah okay tell me about the girls in your group how has coming together what's it done for you 
um as a group woo because i think some ooh, some were fairly new to having tips woo, and some were they've had them for a while woo, and so woo, we could help each other like woo, say if we got a tip woo, we could talk to the girls to see woo, if they've had it and how they cope with it woo, mm-hmm. maybe like a self-harming tip like i get really bad scratching ticks on my faces my my face and my arms so mm-hmm. we kind of just came together to figure out what ways that we can help each other mm-hmm. so that's that kind of one of the best things okay so what are the different ticks that you've come across amongst the like the girls in your group so what, what are the differences huh? um woo, woo. a couple of us woo, we get these drop ticks woo, that, that's what we've been calling them at the moment where woo, we just like our top half of our body just drop woo, and then there's the beans tick that's gone around everywhere whoop, on TikTok, which is ooh, Evie Meg, I think. And it's it's just loads because we get new ones every single day. Yeah, sorry, what's the beans tick? Um, it's just a, ooh, a vocal one where you just say beans and it's, I think it came from Evie Meg. Ooh, which okay. is, <laughs> it's gone everywhere. Yeah. And what about the thing you explained about your, the, your body drops? Ooh, um, ooh, it's kind of an odd one to explain because it's what, not fainting. It's just maybe like losing. Ooh, God, what's the word? I don't know. You kind of literally you just drop. Okay. Pardon. Like losing consciousness, yeah. or, or it's, it's but, a body thing. Um, I think it's a body thing because you can still hear through it. Okay. So you're still like aware. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So, um, are they, do they hurt you at all? Are they uncomfortable? Like as we're speaking, obviously your 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 ticks are happening now. Are you in any pain or? Um, ooh, a little because of my scratching one on my arm. Okay. But the most ooh, I think I ever get is either a friction burn on my face, scratch on my arm, whoop, a bruise, or just a sore throat whoop, from never stopping talking. Okay. <laughs> yeah um and and does talking make it worse or um i don't know it's kind of woo, depends on the day because mm-hmm. sometimes you have whoop, good days and sometimes you have bad days so it's it's always different yeah yeah okay so you've talked about um prior to having the like just when you they began you, you didn't know what to do, you wanted to control it because of school pressures and everything else. What has it been like at school? Um, well, my school has been great with me. Woo, okay. I've got many accommodations, like whoop, having my iPad woo, in case I can't whoop, write, um, having gum woo, for my whoop, vocal tics, and I can just leave to go to whoop, student support when I need to. So they've literally been amazing. Oh, that's good. Okay, because I know some people haven't all had the same amazing experiences as yourself. A lot of people have had to really fight with schools, you know, speak to head teachers, speak to senkos, yeah. and it's been a fight for some. Have all the other girls experienced had a good experience like yourself? Ha- um, I think some have, some haven't, Ooh, because everyone's different. You can never predict anything. Ooh. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay, so um, what are your worries and fears going forward? Because obviously you haven't got a diagnosis yet. <clears throat> Do you have any worries or fears um, around? The scary thing is always what, just being out in public. Because mm. you never know how someone's going to react. What? I also what, may have this thing called FND as well, which... Okay kind of links in with ticks as well and so I can drop to the floor I can my hands can lock in positions and it's 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 a struggle sometimes but yeah you just find a way to cope yeah yeah so is that what FND is the 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 hands locking and dropping to the floor it's a lot of things I think there's um oh god um, oh, there's some memory loss. Ooh, seizures is a part of it. It's it's just a whole lot, lot of, of things. things all together because it's okay. functional neurological disorder. So it's where well, your brain is isn't working the best, I guess. Okay, okay. 
Um, so when we talked about school, your school support system, teachers and everything have been really good. What have the students been like? Because like you said, you don't know how people react. What have your fellow students been like? Um, I think they've also been pretty good because I, I kind of encourage them to laugh like with me okay. because it's it's just a coping mechanism yeah and they've all been fine because they know I don't mean it and I guess because it's been happening for a while they've just gotten used to it yeah which is yeah. really nice okay so that's nice to just feel like you're, you're part of everyone else anyway and they're used to it and they accept you for you is there ever a time when it gets too much when you can't just laugh about it <laughs> yeah um definitely oh tick attacks being the main thing because oh, those are just painful <laughs> yeah in, in what way are they painful is that, is that the scratching or um ooh, so tick attacks ooh, are like when your ticks go basically full throttle mm -hmm. i with me i basically i categorize them to a vocal ooh, tick attack uh motor tic tac or or just both woo. so vocal is just woo, non-stop like talking tics yeah um motor is like most like hitting scratching maybe like your body contracting in some way and then if you get both it's woo, it's a whole mixture woo, and yeah. it's woo, it's just really exhausting yeah and it could last up to however long woo, okay. it's just unpredictable yeah yeah okay i understand that um so i've read about these and i know you guys sell stickers don't you do you want to tell us a little bit about your stickers with the uncontrollables um so i actually have some with me now oh do you oh amazing <laughs> i have them on my water bottle so we have ah. these stickers that i design um and we sell them on depop and we have and an Instagram account as well focused on it and all of the funds that we get goes to Tourette's Action because okay. like Tourette's in general hasn't had much research going into it so if they get the money then they can put that to research which That's is amazing. the one thing we need at the moment. Did you say you designed the, the uh, stickers yourself? Yeah I designed them myself and then That's, Grace that's and amazing. Remember, she prints them off. Oh, that's amazing. What do the stickers say? say? What's on the stickers? I saw some writing on there. Um, most of them are kind of just ticks um, visualised. Okay. Um, like this one's my favourite. It's um, ooh, the bird the spies and it's a little pigeon in a spy suit. <laughs> <laughs> I love and that. I just, there are just tons. There are just yeah. tons of different ones. That's amazing. Ooh, and, and, and you're right, you know yeah yeah and you're right there's not much um in the way of research for like Tourette's action um and also I know there's a petition going around at the moment do you know of that petition yeah can you tell us a bit about yeah that? it's um I think it well, may have around 50,000 signatures at the moment but it's running out of time because I think we need a hundred we need a hundred yeah yeah and so woo, everyone's woo, trying their hardest to get people to sign woo, and it's just a race against the clock because we're it is, it really is cause, time cause, now because it's august we need those signatures by august and we're only halfway through so it's about continuing to raise this woo, awareness for that, people to realize that this is a, a massive woo, condition that affects so many families i mean i've, I've joined some facebook groups um where there's so many it's unbelievable just how many people are going woo, through um, ticks and Tourette's at the moment and parents don't know what to do there's nowhere to seek help there's a few places but it's very rare and even with di a diagnosis takes so long um which I think is a shame and a lot more needs to go into it and I think this petition needs signing so we just need to get it out there really don't we yeah mm. Mm. Um, so what, how, how are you, are you guys advertising the, the petition on your pages? And I'm also going to put at the bottom of this um, podcast, I'm going to put your, your link to Depop, so where people can buy stickers to um, help Thanks. the um, We tried to whoop, post, um, I think her name's Emma, she's been like in charge of it at the moment, whoop, and we tried to 
repost her stuff on our food story as much as possible. Okay. But mm, I mean, because ooh, there are bigger names out there, and you know what? They're trying, but ooh, there's it's just is really hard at the moment ooh, because mm, there's like a whole group of us that's ama- doing amazing to get it out, and we just need more, and we will always need more at this rate. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Absolutely. And I think it's just the raising of awareness that will help people understand the condition to begin with in order for them to start, you know, for the numbers to build up. Yeah. So what, what support have you found out there, if, if any? Um, ooh, I mean, ooh, with the uncontrollables, ooh, at the moment, we kind of just are the support. Ooh, we get yeah. many ooh, messages daily asking for advice and it's it's great because woo, you feel like you're being good because you're helping people and then woo, it just turns into a general conversation and it's woo, like we help you and they help us yeah yeah and woo, we also have our discord as well so we're supporting more on there as well because it's just general conversations just with people who live like you woo. yeah on the what sorry what's the second thing you said on the discord um yeah we have a discord server oh, yeah. where we have loads of people where we just chat and it, it's just it's like a family Woo, yeah. because it's just how casual it is okay that's that's lovely it's a community isn't it and i think we, we we feel good when we're with around people that that we feel we belong to um, and that belong with us and i know we're all one we're all humans and we're all the same but when you're going through a condition that nobody else knows or understands it's nice to have that familiarity isn't it yeah okay so i, I have a question for you so for i know I, I know that with you living with this condition we're not going to take that away and say if you didn't have it we're going to say with your condition in an ideal mm-hmm. world how how would it be how would life be um i would say that people just wouldn't judge judge me because like day to day if i go outside i literally just get weird faces and it would just be nice to feel normal even though with this i'm like not anymore so people just like accepted it that would just be enough and it's yeah it's it would be nice to think about but some people are just difficult <laughs> yeah yeah not not unfortunately not everybody is, is is very kind um in the world and even when they do know um, about the condition even then that doesn't change anything for them unfortunately um which is where i guess we need to build up our confidence and self-esteem and it's a hard it's a hard thing to do but um i guess that's the direction to push in but it would be lovely if everyone did just know more about it and accept it so has anyone been outwardly yeah. mean to you about your condition about having tics or Tourette's um I think I've gotten quite lucky I mean with the uncontrollables account in the beginning we got well I personally got a, a lot of a tiny bit of hate saying how I should be ashamed of myself because I'm faking which <laughs> Clearly, I'm not. But in like real life stuff, I think I think I've gotten quite lucky. Woo! Because people are just like accepting it, which is nice. That's good. That's amazing. But who 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 said that to you that you're faking it? And you know, was it a group of people? Just, just someone look random on Instagram. There's always got to be one. Yeah, I guess that's that, that's the um. The, the bad you take from being online and having an open forum that not everybody will be kind and they can hide behind the screen and do that um yeah unfortunately but um i'm glad that you were happy you were able to to shake that off because you got such good support on the other hand haven't you yeah yeah okay so um h- how do you explain it to people when people ask or did you do people ever ask you like what are you doing oh um not really Ooh, but if I need to like Ooh, talk to a teacher because I don't have an actual diagnosis yet I just say I've got something like Tourette's Ooh, mm-hmm. because I guess Tourette's is the one that's known so like Ooh, not any yeah. tick disorders and it's just like the big name that stands out Ooh. yeah and I think it very much started with teacher I don't know because you're quite young I don't know if you would have watched this big brother um many years ago 
um, with Pete. Yeah, I was and, there. Yeah, and it started yeah. with him when I think when the UK sort of really began to understand what Red <laughs> is, and that's the big name that stayed out there as opposed to um, ticks that people don't really know. Yeah. So you haven't you haven't had to explain it to anyone. <laughs> Only teachers, I guess, but because they're in school, they kind of already know. Yeah. I don't think whoop, anyone's really been, woo. Yeah. Like, no one's actually really asked, to be honest, which okay. is kind of nice. Yeah. But you still get the looks, which is yeah. a, a bit odd. Yeah. Hmm? I've heard there are these cards Ooh. that people can get um, online that literally explain, explain, you know, I met a girl recently who told me about um, these cards because uh, this girl I met, she was amazing she just had so much information because her brother had been through this condition and um mm -hmm. her brother's had ticks and Tourette's for some years i think ticks or Tourette's and um she says there's cards that you can get that explain what's going on so if anybody was to ask especially for children you just hand them the card and without having to say anything you, you know um you can read they can read what's on there yeah I, that sounds like a good thing i, I think i've got mine no have you yeah because we got sunflower lanyard which is hidden disabilities but i also have the actual cards that i make for well, the uncontrollables for free um so i have tons of different ones like this one's i have ticks what they are what are they tick attacks and all that and I that's amazing them, so, so i love that i love that you make that and you're you're truly just supporting the cause aren't you it's amazing yeah because it's Ooh, easy I'm to, a very arty person. Yeah, clearly I can tell. I can tell it's easy to sit at home and wallow in your sorrows and think, um, you know, this is really hard. I does I can't do anything about this. I'm gonna hide away, but you're really showing up um with no apologies, and I commend you for that. I think that's amazing. Um Ooh, thanks. Okay, so I have a few questions. <laughs> so what have because a lot of the stuff I've read as well are around diet and different things people are trying to do to see what works, what changes. Have, is, has anything worked for you to try and ease them? Um, woo. I mean, woo, we've tried a lot for me, like electrotherapy, therapy in general, um, magnesium tablets and just all of that. Woo. But I just guess doing something whoop, that I can like properly concentrate on whoop, like dancing singing and acting whoop, they're the only things I've found so far <laughs> but well, I think we're whoop, looking for something to just whoop, calm me down a tiny bit more whoop, yeah cause, like <clears throat> I'm on medication at the moment but we haven't whoop, got anything like properly works okay so because I've, I've come across the magnesium tablets they're more like for sleep and calming down and things like that um <laughs> I'm not sure how effective they Ooh. are. Um, but yeah, so Ooh. when you're singing, sorry, go on. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay, that you're saying something. Mm -hmm. When you're singing, are your ticks less then since you're you're calm? Um, when I'm singing and dancing and acting, they pretty much go. Okay. Because Acting, you're basically a different person and you're concentrating on your lines and everything. Yeah. Dancing, you're always concentrating on the next step. And then singing, you're concentrating on the next verse. So it's just a whole group and it's just it's just an escape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do you want to be when you're older? I'm guessing an, an act, a performer, an actress, singer. Yeah. I really want to try to go for the West End. It's a very big out there thing but woo, I feel like if we can get woo, someone out there then woo, we can like prove that we can still do stuff even though we've got like if even though we're different yeah yeah and it doesn't change it it doesn't take away from from the person you are I guess you're having these things that are happening but you're still you you're still the person you were you're still able to act to perform and um I mean we've had people that come of, on like the x factor who have a condition but yet when they sing they're calm and um i think we just need more of that so yeah. dare i ask you to sing us a line or two of anything yeah <laughs> i don't no, 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 sorry 
<laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Okay. So, um, is there anything that you, um, you know, want to share in terms of, you know, the condition, what you do as a controllables, where people can find you, how you can help anyone, or just anything? Um, I suppose well, you could just find us on Instagram and TikTok. Mostly just the uncontrollable, un uncontrollables with an underscore in there somewhere. Um, it would be great if they bought stickers, but we can't force them to do that. So yeah, I, I think you know, I think we'll advertise all that. I will certainly push it out onto my social media and just um, show people where to go for it because you know people need them and they're out there. Yeah. Yeah, and so, go ahead. Sorry, it's just letting people know that we are we are here here for anyone who needs us Woo! whether you have ticks or if you don't we're just we're happy to chat and woo! again with my cards because they're very I, I personalize them to anyone i've made thousands not thousands probably about 100 woo! for so many different people and it just brightens their day because knowing that you don't have to find somewhere and pay for them because yeah. I just make them digitally for someone to print off for themselves and I put I've put Winnie the Pooh characters on there sticks oh. and I could do all that. yeah hey. because there's different ages as well so I guess they will I mean I, I like um cartoon characters <laughs> at my age so I love uh, you know <laughs> I have like Bambi jumpers and just all sorts of caricatures and stuff but um, but there are children obviously they say ticks tend to start from about the age of five to seven um and could last through your teenage years um yeah. what, what are the ages of the people in the in your group in the uncontrollables what's everyone um woo, I think we're around ooh, maybe 15 to 19, I think. Okay. Okay. Ooh. So um, what made you want to come and talk here today? Just spreading awareness. Ooh. It's anything really. <laughs> like we try Instagram, TikTok. Ooh, we try everything. It just needs to get out there more, I guess. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Are you yeah. a part of any of the Facebook groups that are out there? Ooh, I think I'm on two. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm on two of them, I think. Okay. So I guess you're doing you're doing your work there as well. Um well yeah. I mean I'm I'm so happy that you came and spoke to me here today. Um really happy. And there's obviously a lot more that we need to spread and make people aware of and just get everything out there um yeah so thank you so much and oh, actually I wanted to ask you about your therapy you said you've had therapy what therapy have you had um there was ooh, one time ooh, where I had we just tried to think of stuff that could help mm -hmm. like distraction and all that ooh, and then whoop, I did electrotherapy for a bit where yeah, they put that. these little things on my ears and like zapped me with electricity i guess how, how was that it hasn't worked yet what do no. you mean? yeah well Ooh. it was fine it was painful so it was bearable yeah okay well i mean i wish you the best of luck with your diagnosis and with your future and everything um i hope you find what you need and i hope you find happiness and healing and everything else um so, and I'm glad we, we're connected um, via the uncontrollables. I'll certainly be following and spreading and sharing. Um, I'll make sure I buy some stickers from you as well. <laughs> Thanks. No, Thanks you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Bye. you have emotions and think about things. Let's talk about